Hello, I'd like to discuss a new feature which we recently added to the drop down of the Smart Magnet Rig panel called Change Master Parent. The title is self evident, it allows you to change the hierarchical relationship of the elements within your Smart Magnet Rig and by doing so to change the behavior of your Smart Magnet Rig to suit certain specific situations. To illustrate that, I've blocked out a few keys which uh, show such a specific situation. So this is the animation that we have. The robot does a, a bit of an antic and then he jumps and gets a hold of the edge of the stage. Now, when we get to a point like this one here, we would want the hand to be the static element and the animation the other elements to act just like this and possibly like this and even like this with the current setup of course this is impossible because this is our master parent and the whole hierarchy is built around this forward kinematic which wouldn't let us easily animate something with a static hand. So I'll delete this now and duplicate this frame again and now we'll change the master parent. How do we do this? We select one symbol on the stage and we choose Change Master Parent from the drop down menu. The panel starts working and in a few seconds we can try and see the results of our actions. Now, this is Kineflex and you can see how. The whole character behaves differently. Now I'll undo until we go back to the same key and keep doing some changes in a duplicate because we need to have these two exactly the same keys with the different hierarchy. I'll explain a little later why we need this. So I'll, I'll very quickly change the pose here. not gonna do some uh, amazing animation it's just to illustrate the principles what we're doing and why we are doing certain things so imagine this is this is the settle okay I'll, I'll just do one more key just in the other direction just a little bit so let's play the blocked out animation and consider that this is good enough. Now I'll load the rig here so that we can see what changed. A copy of the original rig was created so this is this is the original one and this is the copy so effectively this frame here and the frames after it are a separate smart magnet rig the elements which needed to be re-registered and inverted were automatically re-registered and inverted. You can see now the edge point of this uh, lower arm is in the wrist and the magnet point is in the elbow. The upper torso was re-registered as well and these other elements are just uh, unchanged. So. The re-registered elements were duplicated so that it's completely non-destructive and all the duplicates are here in this newly created folder. Now it's all very obvious why we had to do this and how we would progress with our animation. The only thing that I need to 
add to the presentation before I go is why we wanted to have the duplicate key. I call this a pseudo key. If I add some tweening here, say like this and like this, and we would like to get rid of the duplicate frame, we can do this very easily by converting this last frame of the tween to a key and then getting rid of this key, the pseudo key. I'll just remove it and now we don't have a duplicate key, we are switching to the inverted rig with the different master parent. We won't change this frame, but from now on, you can go, you can go that way. You can go as far as you want. And then back. I'll just very quickly add some tweens and of course all the elements that break like for example this leg here we can clean up now oh, and here as well and here as well so this is how you can use change master parent to solve certain specific situations which will be very difficult to animate keeping your existing parent-child relationships within the rig. I hope that this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.